Yo, what's going on? It's Dow here. I'm going to give you some quick tips on how to hold your pick properly. This is a serious foundation key in guitar playing. If you develop bad habits here, you can really have some problems doing some techniques later on in your playing. So the most important things are definitely holding your pick between the thumb and the first finger. I see a lot of students start off by using two fingers like this or even using just that finger alone, that middle one. But you definitely want to use those two. Now you really want to make sure that the pick is on the side of your first finger as well and not the face. I see a lot of students do this here, sort of a duck shape with the side of their hand. And you don't want a duck shape, you want a sort of circle there. So you see them on the face of the thumb and the side of the finger. And these fingers here are just kind of out of the way. I like to separate the pick from these fingers because if they're all together and you're in this sort of fish shape, it can really cause friction in your playing and encourage you to tighten up your wrist. And you really don't want to tighten up, you want to be as loose as possible. So I encourage you to separate those fingers. I like to curl them up like this, but there's a distinct gap between this second finger and the first finger. Imagine you're writing with a pencil. Hopefully you don't write like this. You sort of separate those fingers to be more fine with the pencil. And the same rules apply with a pick. Next thing I want you to remember is to be very loose with your wrist, be very relaxed. None of this should be sort of tight and tense. Now that you're able to hold your pick, you need some kind of reference point around here. So what I like to encourage people to do is use this ball part of the hand and sit it on top of the bridge and then line up the whole side of the palm with the bridge. A lot of people start out like this with their arms sort of sideways and it can really cause some troubles with accuracy. Whereas if you're really lined up with that bridge properly and you have that anchor point at the top, you'll hopefully be a very accurate player. So remember, side of the palm along the whole bridge, but most importantly, that ball needs to sit on the top. So with the combination of that reference point and holding your pick on the side of the finger between the thumb and the finger there, you should have a nice foundation for picking. Perhaps just as a starting out exercise if you're new to playing guitar, just choose each string and just down and up pick each string alone, very gently. So I'm not necessarily focusing on speed here, I just want you to really focus on these key points. Watch very carefully to what I'm doing and if it looks like you're doing this, good job. If it doesn't, then make some adjustments and maybe go back on the video in case you missed something.